We are at the Thomas Darling Preserve. Now check out another little spot here. So we are here. So some of this looks like it goes through uh, private property, but the trail does come through here. So the whole blue loop is only 2.2 miles. This should be cool. We were up on the other side of this, uh, on the two mile run side, like up, up that way. And there's no clear way to get down here. Well, here we go. We're right here. And we were just up on this Kaaba Road, like up in here. There's no, no real trails to take you through there. So we're gonna check this out because there's some boardwalks. Great swamp. Local landscape was formed over 11,000 years ago by the retreating Wisconsin glacier. As the ice melted, it left behind massive boulders and rocks known as drift deposits. This geological event created vast areas of swampy land that made up what is now Toby Hanna Township. Man's development of the 1800s has reclaimed much of the swamp, but many parts of it still exist as protected wetlands stay. Well, that's pretty cool. I'm going to see if I got enough signal to pull this uh, QR code. The Great Swamp. So pretty quickly, we come to Boardwalk. Beautiful little section of forest. Uh, we've been away from the boardwalk for a while. I thought we'd kind of pick back up on it. Didn't really pay attention on the map. But it's been nice, it's an easy hike, it's very flat. Um, looks like we're heading back out to maybe some swamp here. And considering the place is called the Great Swamp. Or is this, no, that's I think that's probably pipeline right away. That's what that looks like. I know there is a little bit of that out here. Lots of ferns. Lots of ferns and moss. All right. We are about six tenths of a mile in. And this is two mile run. This is, uh, if we, if you were to follow this all the way up, it runs into that Kobo, Kaaba Road that we were on before. And there's a, a preserve up there. It's called Two Mile Run Swamp. Uh, there doesn't appear to be any trails in there. So we, we didn't go in there. But if you follow this down, you can actually come right to uh, Thomas Darling, it looks like. Um, nice little spot. That's for power lines. Oh. Here's a little bit two mile run. That is a big, big tree. So it looks like we're at the like the bottom edge of this two mile swamp. I wonder if it's two miles. Ugh. It's up that way. Beautiful little creek. You can see 
how tanny that water is. Looks like iced tea running through there. Wasn't expecting to see sand. Got a little boardwalk over here. This is gorgeous. Beautiful. So we're at the end of the boardwalk and then we just got a board to walk on. The simple version. This is almost a Almost a half mile of boardwalk, just in that one section. That, that's a good balancing act right there. Now we're back into roots and oh, more boardwalk. <laughs> All right, that's not that's not even remotely fun to walk on. It's so. <laughs> it's very springy. Oh God, that's hard. On two boards, one feet foot. Oh my god, that's not fun. I don't have my backpack with me on this one. I got my water bottle in one hand, my phone in the other. Walk on springy planks. So this one is Nature Conservancy. Oh, I got some glacial boulders here. We have come across a couple more little sections of boardwalk here and there. And we're kind of skirting along that private property we talked about. You can see there's an orange marker right out here. So we're gonna head up. Oh, I caught a spider web with the camera. Um, I'm gonna kind of head straight up. We're heading back up towards the road we parked on. Kind of, sort of, go over that way a little bit. But we're gonna head up there and then get on the the rest of the road, or maybe it's an old old property road or something. We're just gonna take us back to the car. And these are sections where they. Just ask that you stay on trail, respect the private property, Ooh, step in the mud, have all the fun. Don't know how long I'm going to stand underneath that tree. All right, so now we're at the, the private property section. And as always, when people are nice enough to let a conservancy or a park use their private property to bring a trail through. Respect that and stay on the trail. Because the people who own this property don't have to let people use it.
Looks like we're back out to the road. Ah, nice. Some preserved parking. <laughs> No parking. Preserve parking. So you can park right there. Preserve visitors, private road. Not nature conserves roads to property. Please not go beyond this point. Point oh six miles. Not a bad little hike. Like it a lot. Town of Sterling Preserve. We're out in the Mount Pocono, Pocono region. Definitely come check it out. It's definitely worth it. I'll have the GPS tracks in the bottom and all the information on that site. So 